glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and the fans are going hog wild as the players prepare for battle. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Roberts has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. It's fielded at the two. At the 30. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. Taken down in the backfield. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 31 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Dives and he's down. And he has a huge game. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. They'll drop him for a loss. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 16. He makes it to the 15-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. to that quickly and he's tackled around the five yard line wow a long game but still not enough for the first well the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down he gets it up and it's through the uprights here's an update from the studio and reese davis let's check out what's going on in university park and for smu they've gone out in front smu in front 3-0. In another game, the Cardinal come into the game ranked second, but hoping to prove that they are the top team in the nation. And for Ball State, they've now dropped three in a row. Tyler Sticky Hands made an appearance as he caught a touchdown pass. Stanford finishes it off 24-17. All right, thanks, Reese. Missouri is lining up to kick this one off. Gilman sets in the turn. 
He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Loose football, and they fall on the loose ball. Brought down at the 15-yard line. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Catches it, and that's all. That's a nice six-yard gain. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Caught out in the open. He's tackled around the 24-yard line. Four yard line. It's first down. Ball is loose. Fumble. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice run up the middle. Starks gains about four yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. It's scooped up and it's a lineman that's got it. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? Quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 26. That brings up fourth and goal. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Arkansas is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Sooners sitting in the top five and hoping to move up. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for SMU, they're in danger of losing two straight. The Sooners are out front, 14-10. Upset special happens every year. Maybe it's one of those weekends. And 
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. We've played one, and this one's knotted up at three. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Throws back the other way, incomplete. Missouri's got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYP. Pick your poison. Short situation here. It's third and one. Tackle around the 42-yard line. There's a reason why defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time they couldn't defend it properly and they gave up a first down. Looks for his running back incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw and it got away from him. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on their own 42. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. to return. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Johnson is the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32. Red two, six, seven, Welch gets the ball, and he's taken down around the 33-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Five wide. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. out to about the 21. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it 35. So we're looking at another third down here. Red 
Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. From the 10 yard line, first down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. It's the ninth play of the drive. The Razorbacks had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's in trouble. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. Fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop him. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Off to University Park we go. Let's take a look at this one again. And for Oklahoma, all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. A 17-17 time. 10-3 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far this week. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Tackle made right around the 34. Slings it, and he's level at the 41-yard line. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. Brown picks up around five yards with that catch. From their own 46-yard line, second down. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Very good tackle in space. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. He's going left. And he stays in bounds, and he hauls in a big one. That's a good one. First down. From the 16-yard line, first down. My five, my five, my five. He's on the run, the 10, and he tackles him hard at the nine. Now he's scrambling. 
keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Moore has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Tackle at the 31-yard line. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's going to air it long. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Arkansas is going to take their first time out of the half. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Red, two, he goes out of bounds at the 30. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. to the back incomplete. Hey, the offense is in field goal range. They didn't get the first down there on third down, but they still have a chance to get some momentum here if they decide to get the three points. Arkansas is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it's good! kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 13-10, Arkansas. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Caught at the eight. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Mike eight, Mike 
Arkansas has a three-point lead. He's tackled at the 39. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. He sails it long. Doesn't get there. Trent, look at the defensive coordinator down on the sideline. He's wiping his brow down there. They just caught a big break that time because the quarterback just overthrew the ball. Yards. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From their own 37-yard line, third down. hit immediately. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Taylor, the return man. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Caught out of the open, and they make the stop at about the 49. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Call it a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. Now he tries to buy some time. And he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. Call it a game of eight yards. First down. Down he goes at the 32. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And he throws it away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position of this football game. Gets it away. Wait a minute. He's going to throw. Incomplete. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Arkansas holds a field goal lead. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Red two. He's taken down right around the 40.
King goes with a play fake. Excellent open field tackle. First and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He's at the 30. He makes his way out to about the 25. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 27 yard line. Arkansas is up by three. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 16. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Green check, eight. check. Dance. Tackled at a decent pickup. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. They'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. That makes it second and two. This is the tenth play of this drive. the corner. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And he adds the extra point. A nice 10 play, 70 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four yard line. And he's tackled at the 29 yard line. Missouri's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Mitchell off the left side. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at about the 47 yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Two down, two down. Mark Farr, Mark Farr. Got it and brought down immediately. Man, left, man, left. Two down, two down. Mark Farr, Mark Farr. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And a quick throw. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. Looks 
to his back, and he's got him again. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That's good for the game. Third down. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Touchdown, Tigers! That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he converts the extra point. Missouri kicked this one off. Gilmore fields it at the three. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Picks up five with the carry. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Just over two minutes in the game. Black five, black Gets to about the 37-yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. midfield gains his way to the 39 yard line what a critical first down as time ticks away huge huge first down the defense desperately needed a stop there we've got a first and 10 ball on the 39 he's at the 30 he finally goes down at the 14 it out to about the 11-yard line. That's good for the three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. And this play is number eight on the drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. The 
this one's in the books and our final score 2017 Razorback that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye